By the end of this video, we will be able to differentiate between ionic and covalent bond. Before going into details, kindly subscribe our channel so you don't miss these interesting factual videos. Who remembers some of the key concepts you learned regarding atomic structure? For this lecture, you should know the meaning of the words. Atom, an atom is the smallest unit of a chemical element, consisting of a nucleus composed of protons and neutrons, surrounded by a cloud of electrons. Element, an element is a substance composed of atoms with the same number of protons, representing a unique chemical identity on the periodic table. Atomic number, the atomic number is the number of protons in the nucleus of an atom, determining its chemical properties and defining its place in the periodic table. Electron, an electron is a subatomic particle with a negative charge orbiting the nucleus of an atom. Electron cloud, an electron cloud is a three-dimensional region around the nucleus of an atom where electrons are likely to be found. Electron shells. Remember that every atom has a certain number of electrons, which orbit the nucleus in the electron cloud. These electrons orbit in different energy levels, which are known as electron shells. The first shell can have maximum of two electrons, and it must be full before any electrons can move to the next shells, which can have eight electrons each. Lewis dot diagrams. In chemical reactions, the electrons in the outermost shell are the most important. We can represent elements using Lewis's dot diagrams, which visually emphasize those electrons over the others. Valence electrons. The electrons in the outermost shell of an atom are known as valence electrons. In the Lewis dot diagram to the left, you can see that beryllium has two valence electrons. How many valence electrons do you think hydrogen has? How many does oxygen have? The octet rule. The octet rule, also known as the rule of eight, is a fundamental principle in chemistry that governs the behavior of atoms during chemical bonding. It states that atoms gain, lose, or share electrons in chemical reactions in order to achieve a stable electron configuration similar to that of the noble gases, which typically have eight valence electrons. This stable configuration corresponds to a filled outer electron shell, often referred to as an octet. By achieving this electron configuration, atoms become more stable and less reactive, thereby forming chemical bonds to attain the electron arrangement of noble gases. Let's try an example. As an example, fluorine has total 9 electrons out of which 7 are in its outermost shell. It will need one more electron to fill its octet. How many electrons would carbon need to fill its octet? How many would sulfur need? And xenon? Chemical bonding. When atoms form bonds with other atoms, it is known as chemical bonding. Chemical bonding involves the sharing, transfer, or redistribution of electrons between atoms, resulting in the formation of stable chemical compounds with predictable properties. These bonds can be covalent, where electrons are shared, or ionic, where electrons are transferred. Additionally, metallic bonding involves the delocalization of electrons within a metal lattice. These interactions govern the structure, stability, and reactivity of molecules and compounds in chemistry. Ionic bond. In an ionic bond, one atom typically donates one or more electrons to another atom, resulting in the formation of positively charged ions, cations, and negatively charged ions, anions. For example sodium has one valence electron and chlorine has seven. Sodium can become stable by losing its single valence electron and dropping down to the previous, and complete, energy shell, whereas chlorine can become stable by gaining one more electron and filling its outermost shell. These atoms can form an ionic bond in which chlorine steals sodium's single valence electron, creating stability for both atoms. Covalent bond. In a covalent bond, atoms share valence electrons to achieve a stable electron configuration. This sharing allows both atoms to fill their outermost electron shells, typically containing eight electrons, the octet rule, resulting in a more stable arrangement. For example, Chlorine has seven valence electrons and therefore needs one more in order to fill its octet. In the absence of any other element, chlorine atoms can bond with other chlorine atoms. Both atoms will share one electron, thereby completing their electron shells.
Thanks for watching. To learn more, just visit and subscribe our YouTube channel. Link in description.